last night me and Martin went somewhere. Can you guess where? Just stand next to that Martin for scale. <laughs> what does that say? I can't read it. It's upside down. <laughs> Martin's collecting all the stuff that he's forgotten the last few days. <laughs> Look at Andrew's little smile because he's uh, seen some new paint arrive in the yard. Watch that mirror. Mr. Malone's here. We've still got about another 100 acres of grass to do. So we've got a bit of conditioner to keep everyone happy that we're saying, why don't you get a conditioner? So we're going to have a go with this. We'll let Vinnie Malone pick it up. Gonna balance. Just grab. So now you want to just somewhere where you can get attracted, where you can get attracted to it, yeah. Problem is, it's gonna rain all next week. Now it's glorious today, but then rain next week. It's savage that conditioner, isn't it? Got what? Oh yeah, yeah. I've uh, made the Malone man brew in a class cup. Let's see if he notices. You can't film me you drinking our class. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. I've got uh, powder powder in my car. We're at Bill's Monitor Farm. Me and David's put it on his legs. He reckons it stops the horse fly, so we're going to try it now. So I'll have white legs, even whiter than they already are. Quick pause in chatting in the field for the noise. Is it a lighter field than it's pretty similar, pretty similar soil. We're just look at it. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're just at the monitor farm meeting at Bill's. So we've just been looking at his wheat there, just looking at ours now. Looks well though. It's a UFO there. Well, I know the lighthouse. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll do. I'll, I'll do a bit of both. Um, I'm just at the monitor farm meeting with Bill and Colin. His co brought this demo rig to show us the closed transfer system for so getting chemicals out of a container. So he's going to show us now how it works. Off you go. Okay, so the container comes with a cap that has a removable middle. You put it on here and you lock it in. Now that can is sealed. Yep. So empty the can fully all the way around to the outside. And you'll see here. So it must have something put in air and otherwise yeah, it'd really be gluggy, wouldn't it? coming underneath. Now this is, this is on the demonstration ring, won't be as fast as a sprayer. And there we go, we're empty. Once we're empty, put the rinser on. Yeah. Spin the can round. Oh, you can turn happy. the can even when it's on it. That's yeah, good, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So one, once we're happy that we've done our equivalent of a triple rinse, knock it off, bring it back around, and then there we go. Yeah, and then it just has a dust cap here, doesn't it? Yeah, so the dust cap when it's travelling, just to show you what it looks like. So there, there's a cap. And when you lock it in, basically it removes the centre. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you can see these are the, these are the deflector nozzles that basically cause it to rinse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's fixed on there. Yeah. When yeah. we bring it back again, clicks that back in. Yeah. Back in. That's a bit faffy though, isn't it? But I, I must admit, I did try it before myself. Yeah, I think that's just a safety issue. It's like it stops, but you can just about do it with one hand. Yeah. Again, once you get used to it, and then that cap is now sealed. Yeah. So you can do part cans by feathering it around. And I think future models will probably come with a, some sort of monitoring system that you know you can actually dispel a certain amount. So are they selling them now then? Yeah, so, so at the moment they've been oh, sold by, by Pentair, and they're also developing it by, of course, they've got two 
technicians working on it for future, you know, to, to improve the system. And all the manufacturers, so Udama, BASF, yeah. everyone. All, all of the main manufacturers have now signed up. Uh, and anyone else that wants to, there will be access to those caps. Yeah. So, 63 mil caps. Yeah, so standard. So going forward now, you should start to see product coming through. Yeah, and you don't have the foil bit either. That's it, no foils. Yeah. If you don't have the system, those caps can be unscrewing just like they can be before. You've got no, got no point source. No. Uh, and you've got no operator exposure, or certainly limited operator exposure. So, so going forward, this will probably become standard on sprayers next to your induction bus. I just think it should look like a Mr. Fusion off Back to the Future. Yes, that's right, yeah. So yeah. there we go. Yeah. I think we have to try one of them. So this is Easy Connect. Easy Connect, is that what it's called? Oh yeah, there we go. Cheers, Colin. Thank you. We're just back from the Monitor Farm conference. We're just going to play with something here now and then um, get up to Edinburgh. Got this thing here. It's a Starlink, so it's supposed to be internet wherever you are, pointing at the sky. I'm just going to plug it in now and try it. My nephew messed with it yesterday at the show. I've not tried it yet, but I need to turn it on because you can adjust that to make it flat to fit back in the car. Because we'll take it with us and then we've got a signal then at the uh, show. A few beans to hoover up there. Well, shovel up. Some fertilizers to move out. Get these tractors out of the way. Get all rid of all that junk there that's been accumulating. Andrew and Liv have been on it most of the day. Starting to get there. The plan is to try and get this shed finished tomorrow so we can spray it down or fumigate it. Ready for cutting barley in a week or so. Chip is now back up and running. It's had an issue the last few days. Had to get Catacle out to it to read the live code. Turns out it was a knock sensor gone, so we've changed that or changed two of them. I think maybe, I don't know, but Rob and my dad are just doing some double chipping now with the Merlot. Andrew will live sorting that shed out. I'm going to do the Berkey bumper because in a minute we're going to get in the car and head up. Not a good day today. Interest rates have now gone up again. So that means people have got money in the bank that are saving and now making even more money and can now go out and spend even more money, which don't think will curb inflation. And those that haven't got any um, money, like me that's got borrowings because they've got mortgages, it's now costing even more. And even businesses that have borrowed to, whether they be farms or anything to get through, uh, the pandemic and the war are now even in a worse position. Uh, so what a blunt instrument it is. It doesn't work when the external factors for inflation are caused by energy prices. That's my little rant. Rob's beeping at me, what does Rob on? What you want to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not on camera. <laughs> Not on camera. <laughs> Rob had to tell me he loved me, but he didn't want to do it on camera. Uh, and I'm the best boss ever. <laughs> yeah, the... I'm going to go and do the birthday bumper anyway, but before I forget, I need to say happy birthday to Amanda Williams who, and congratulations because her and Joe are expecting a baby. I fixed them up, so um, if it's a boy, maybe they'll call it Oliver. Don't know. If it's a girl, Olivia. Well, that's what I did anyway. Now, um, I'm going to go and do the birthday bumper. Dead quick birthday bumper today. Chris Mahanahan, I think, is 40. Finley Luke is 19. Rob Griff Griffin. I think he's 21. Peter Southern, he was anonymous yesterday, but he's on it today. Harry Affection is one today, and Gillian Young is on there. Better just say, if you want to be on the birthday bumper, you need to do it through the link below every single video. Please don't do what some people seem to be doing at the moment on Instagram, going, can I have a shout out for my birthday? It's my birthday on Saturday, can I have a shout out? Because if you watch my videos every day, you would know how to get on the birthday bumper. So I think they're just doing it just to like, I don't know, just, I don't know, just there's, there's rules because I got sick of this the other year because it was just getting out of hand. So please, if you want to be on the birthday bumper, do it through the link below the video. Uh, also as well, these t-shirts. So these t-shirts were getting specially made on a limited run. So were the Morris Caulfields grey ones as well with class on. They they were bombed out. We've been bombed out. Claire's making them as fast as they can. They've got to be made, arrive here, and then Ian's got to pack them and then send them on again. Ian's away till Tuesday. So you won't see anything until next week that's if they've been made and all arrive in time so i've been getting quite a lot of messages about that as well but we did explain at the very beginning that they all were made to order so sorry about that if you've not got it and just be patient with it we are not amazon we do do next day anyway the car's loaded now we're just waiting for james again we waited from last time we went to scotland in that car um, hopefully he'll be here in a minute and i'm gonna hit the road and then we're at the highland show tomorrow and a little bit on Saturday morning because we're going to do something live, I think, for GB News on Saturday morning. So we've got the, the uh, Starlinky thing with us as well. So we should have good signal. 
So thanks for watching today. Bit of a rubbish video, sorry, but uh, I've just been busy all day and then been at the Monitor Farm meeting as well, which is good and interesting, but you can't film it because it's just, it'd be six hours worth. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.